Welcome to Automation Training Up. In this video, we are going to see how to interface with ABB PLC. So right now, I'll create a new project. In the new project templates, you can see the list of models it's showing. So the controller we're using is AC500 controller and the processor module is 564 and the communication is ethernet so this model only we are going to interface with so since we know the model we are selecting this and uh, if you want you can uh, give a unique uh, project name So right now your project has been created. So now, if I want to connect with the controller, first we want to know your controller IP address. So for this, what you have to do now, simply just connect a ethernet cable between your system and your controller or your laptop with controller. So once the ethernet cable has been connected between your controller and the PC, next what you do is, in Control Builder Plus, in Tools, we have IP Config Tool. So in this, if you give Scan, so you can see it is receiving a response. So while you're doing this, your controller should be in on state. If your controller is off now, it won't uh, receive any response. So if your controller is on now, it will detect your controller IP address. So your controller IP address is what? 192.168.0.10. Suppose if you want to change uh, this IP address now, simply select this one and you can able to see the configuration. So whatever you want, you can uh, change it and you can send this configuration to the selected device it's showing now. So it will uh, upload this data to the controller. But before doing that, what we have to do now, we have to set your system IP address. Then only we can uh, send this data to the controller. So right now what you have to do is, we come to know your controller IP address is what? 192.168.0.10. So now what you do is, go to Network and Sharing Center in that uh, change adapter settings. So in this, in property, we have a TCP IP version four, open it. So right now, if you say you are going to connect only the laptop alone or the PC alone, na, right now you know the address is what? It is 192 168 zero. So in here, you can give it as 192.168.0. The last number is device index. So your controller device uh, number is what? 10. So in here, I can use the number as different number we have to use it. For example, right now, in our case, I can use it as uh, 20 or 25 like that I can give. Or maybe 11 also you can give. And if you place the cursor in subnet mask now, automatically <coughs> 255 will come. And simply you can give OK, it will accept. But in my, in our case, I am not only connecting uh, the system with the controller, we have to use the internet also. So what I am going to do is, I am going to set the gateway to add the internet uh, connection in this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm not going to feed uh, your system IP address. So first I'm going to feed uh, your network. For example, right now, if you have five system, now the five system uh, network uh, number we are going to feed. So for example, in here, I'm going to give it as 58. And uh, default uh, gateway as yes. 
So D and S suppose we have to feed it. So these are constantly, you can use it, same for the internet connection. Internet plus uh, controller we want to connect. So right now the internet connection has been given. So now I'll go to advance. I'll add it. Since I want to uh, communicate with your controller now, I want to send and receive data between your controller and system. So I'm going to add the system as one of the device to the controller. So in that series, 192, 168. In zero series, uh, the device number already 10 is controller. So in here, I'm using 20. And subnet mask when you select, it will come add. Okay. So right now we have added. So now I want to check uh, whether we can able to communicate with your controller. So for that, I'll just give command cmd command window in the command window simply what you do is give ping right now your controller ip address we know 192 168 0 0.10 when i enter you can able to see it is receiving the signal from the controller so that means your controller is connected to the system suppose when you ping if it is not showing now uh, either the communication cable have a fault or you didn't uh, configure the ip address okay so now uh, what we can do is you can go to the program So I hope you already know the procedure how to open the project. So if you have doubt now, check the previous videos. So right now the language will convert into LD. So right now just that uh, latching unlatching program uh, we are doing. So once the program is done, what we have to do is first to go to communication parameters. So this one we have to do only once. So go to communication parameters. So in that we have to feed your controller IP address. So normally when you're purchasing a new controller, these things won't be present. So right now, So if you give a new, it will ask like this. So in this, we'll choose uh, TCP IP. So it will come in here. So in here, in the address, we have to give your controller IP address. And the port it is communicating is 1201. And in here, byte order, we have to give yes. 
and then online login it will connect so if the port number is different or the byte order no if you give an all so definitely it won't connect with your controller so right now it's showing the program has been changed download the new program yes and then run mode So right now you have seen from the controller we can able to turn on turn off so in this way you can able to configure your ip address and you can load your program suppose uh, if you have a problem uh, in ip address whether it is uh, connected or not now i have shown you the procedure now in the command uh, you can type it in the command prompt, you can type ping and give the controller IP address. You can able to check. So I hope you have understood uh, how to connect with controller in a uh, control builder plus software. Thank you.